Welcome to The Journey. Recently, I heard a preacher explaining that neuroscientists say that our brains are wired for survival, and therefore, recent research shows that we spend 48% of our time thinking about the future, 12% processing the past, and only 28% in the present. The other 12% is spent connecting the dots or the thoughts or the images that are so vague that we cannot quantify them. Our minds are constantly at work, categorizing and analyzing and labeling the things around us. Most of us live with racing minds, obsessive minds. Some spiritual teachers call this the monkey mind. Our minds jump from idea to idea, from thought to thought, from scenario to scenario. And as they do this, our emotions too are on a seesaw. They react to our minds, which we think are rational, but actually are not. You see, our minds, our brains, can be like control mechanisms. They are constantly trying to figure out what next. And the more they race, the more emotionally tangled we can get. You can quickly understand this because no doubt you have experienced it yourself. Why our minds are such a big challenge in this time of lockdown. Because we spend 48% of the time thinking about the future. Guessing what might be. Working out scenarios, analyzing what this could mean in a few days or even a week or two weeks time. We can so easily paralyze ourselves or even make ourselves physically ill with fear, with worry, with anxiety and stress. Most thinking, Father Richard Raw, the famous Franciscan says, is not thinking but rather a narcissistic reaction to the moment. Our minds, he says, need a job. They want to be busy. And if they are unfocused and jumping around, creating all sorts of future scenarios, they rob us of serenity. They can become a real hindrance to us from day to day and also from our day to day functioning. I want you to observe your mind and you will soon discover that most of your thinking is obsessive-compulsive. The famous Eckhart Tolle says it in another way. He says that most of our thoughts are repetitive and useless. So we have to learn to slowly change the way our minds operate. And this takes time because they've been processing, receiving reality and working out what this might mean for most of our lives. That is what we learn to do at a very young age. Perceive, receive, analyze, work out scenarios. And on one level, this is good. But on another level, it is not because it is disabling. Our Christian spiritual tradition offers us invaluable lessons that we have forgotten about or maybe even lost. In fact, it's interesting to watch how many people are using our Christian tradition without using our traditional language and we think that they found something new to talk about this today. We even label it New Age at times. Eckhart Tolle, for example, in his book The Power of Now, doesn't use any Christian language at all. But what he teaches comes straight from the early fathers and mothers of our Christian tradition. And so how do we begin to take control, so to speak, of our obsessive compulsive minds? We have to learn to live on another level. And it won't just happen overnight. It's a bit like physical exercise. Slowly, slowly, we get better and stronger when we do regular exercise. And so I want to offer you one small yet quite difficult exercise to try 
an exercise that will help you to encounter the present because that's what we want to do we want to live in the present you see when we want to learn to be in the present when we want to learn to be in the here and now our minds slow down they take a back seat in actual fact we cannot be in the present if our minds are at work and so it's very simple i invite you to sit still to become aware of your breathing in and your breathing out just pay attention to that listen to the sounds around you for a couple of minutes and slowly you will begin to notice that you are living in the present try this two or three times a day and as you get used to it you could add a few more minutes but simply just practice that and once you've practiced this for a little while you will begin to notice the effect it has on your emotions and your serenity and hopefully this will help you not to worry about what's going to happen in terms of lockdown but simply to live now in the present today where you are as best you can